Small in stature, but big in personality. No one gets excited quite like 85-year-old Jim Coombs to see his friends from Meals on Wheels. I get a bonus today because they're going to deliver a meal down there to Antonio, but he's gone to the doctors. So I get his meal today. I get doubled up by putting it in the refrigerator, and that's my supper tonight. <laughs> Coombs is one of several hundred senior citizens who get hot meals delivered to his doorstep five days a week. It's a godsend. If it wasn't for the meals on wheels, like I told you earlier, I'd either be eating a top ramen or a peanut butter and jelly sandwich because I can't do a lot of cooking. Coombs loves the finished product. But before his meal is delivered, its journey begins at the Portland neighborhood house. Roasted red potatoes is one and a half cups. Peas and carrots are one and a half cups, and pineapple is one and a half cups. Monday through Friday, that's where you'll find Aline Simpson and Anna Irvin diligently preparing meals. Some people may not even eat one meal a day, but this is one good meal that they we know that they have a day. Irvin believes volunteering for Meals on Wheels is a way to pay it forward. Because I can close my eyes at night and have a peaceful night knowing that I have helped somebody somewhere along the way. Because people were good to me. I was a young mother, you know, young wife, and people were good to me. So I decided, like, give back. That look good? That's good. Looks good. The meals are then loaded up in coolers to be delivered by volunteers like Ashley Mitchell. You know, my favorite part is just visiting the seniors because they don't have a lot of visitors as well as, you know, family. So we get to act as family and friends for them, and they're always very excited to see us. Meals on Wheels! Mitchell says the recipients expect volunteers to be on time and get extremely excited when you show up. And one thing's for sure, you never know what they're going to say. I'm just a little old nobody in a little old nobody neighborhood, but I'm having my five minutes of fame. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> what can I say?